Hello everybody, Crips here, and yet again, thanks for joining me. All right, what are we doing? Well, I'm going to show you how to get or set up Corel Video Studio using GoPro and upload it to YouTube. Recently, uh, a gentleman by the name of Filipino Photojournalist, well, there you go, that's a tongue twister. He bought GoPro, he went out then bought Corel, uploaded, and was very disappointed with the quality. And I'll show you what one of my clips look like. Go. There you go. Uh, this is from another channel of mine, but you can see the the quality in this video is just shockingly poor. And I was using the 720 60 frames per second settings on my GoPro, uploaded to YouTube, and this is the end result. And as you can see, it's just total garbage. Who would even watch this? Well, apparently I did 21 times. All right, but this is the end result. I'll show you a clip that I made as well. Same settings, except for one. Okay, as you can see, that's just day and night, and this is the quality we all wish to get. All right, first off, as I mentioned in the first clip, I use 60 frame rates, and YouTube Player will downgrade that down to 30 frames per second. So even if you use 60 frames per second, it doesn't matter because YouTube only supports 30 frames. So to do that, it will compress it down to 30 and you will get a loss of quality in your video. So do not do that. And if you're going to say, yeah, but my buddy uses 60 most probably, and then he edits out for slow motion effects. If you don't believe me, go ahead, upload your clips. All right, let's keep going. Let's go into Corral Video Studio and I'll show you how you need to set this up to get the best quality using your Hero Go Pro. Now, whether it's one, two, or three, it doesn't matter. Go to settings and match your project settings to your GoPro clip. I took my clip directly from my SD card and dropped it straight into Corel Video Studio. Also to note, make sure your SD card is a grade 10. And if you don't know what that means, Google it. All right, here we go. So my clip's in here, I dropped it in the timeline. My project settings, so settings, project settings, uh, Microsoft AVI files, edit, general. Okay, first thing I need to do, I need to match, obviously, my footage size, 1280 by 720, which I've done here. It's just a matter of just clicking back and forth, which one you want. Your frame rate, depending on what you use. If you use PAL, it's 30. If you use NTSC, it's 29.97. And then you go into AVI here. If you got GoPro, there's a very good chance that you've also downloaded Synform, which is totally free. You can also use their codecs, but you know what? You don't really need to do that. Just stick with this codec here is fine. And you press OK, and you press OK, and the window will pop up saying, hey, dude, do you want to refresh your cache? <laughs> yeah. All right, so you refresh your cache. Why? Because now your settings will settings 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 will match your clip. Now, once you have done all your work on the clip, especially colors, because GoPro is an awesome camera, but it gives really crappy colors. It's very flat, so I always increase a bit of contrast, drop an auto level, and then there's one more thing I do. I drop a little sharp filter on here as well. Uh, Corel Video Studio has one from New Blue and one that came with the software. I'm just using the one with the software. It's not a plug-in. And I crank it up by one, uh, right click, and then copy and paste all right. So it's consistent all the way, uh, level one all the way to level one. As you can see from the preview window, it does add a little bit of quality to it. And also when you upload it to YouTube, you will lose a little bit of quality. So. Give it a bit of sharpness. It really does add uh, better quality at the end result. I was searching for words there. Okay. Now, once you've done that, here comes the good stuff. Share, create video, customs, and you don't want AVI, trust me. You want to go to MPEG, MP4 files, and then go to options. Don't worry about this. Go to general. All right, first thing we need to do is change our frame rate. By default, it's 15, so no, we want 
Now you can't click on this yet. Uh, I'll show you how to fix that. You go from frame type, it's frame base, right? Because it's now matching the settings that I did from my, from the earlier ones. And then go into compression. And here we go, video type. I want obviously high H.264. Now, this is very, very important. My video rate, I want as high as 10,000. I don't think it'll take much higher. I'll go back to general and you see now that it's matched my sequence settings because I'm using the higher bit rate and the higher value as well. Push it up to 10,000. I may be wrong on this. I think YouTube max is 15. I am not sure. Or was it five? It really doesn't matter because uh, I'm just showing you what I did to get really good quality. Once everything's done, press OK. Name your file, render it out. All right, so let's have a look at the end result. So that was the end result, but I'll, let's look at the breakdown of the end result. So media info, you can get this. It's an open source anywhere on, on Google it and you'll find it. I'll grab that clip into media info and it'll give me all the breakdown or statistics of my clip. So remember, my overall bit rate was, I put the setting at 10 by the time it rendered it out i still have 9253 and that's my overall so if i go into text i should see that my bit rate is just under one uh, ten thousand there you go just over nine thousand so that means it retained really really good quality and when i upload it to youtube wow you saw it you saw it before the quality is quite crisp and sharp so if you're watching Filipino photo journalists, that is how you want to set up your Corral Video Studio to get the best results on YouTube. And oh, don't forget that once it's uploaded, look at it at 720 because by default, they'll probably go to 360 and then you still go, ah, it's crap. Anyway, you, I'm sure you can work that out. And as always, thanks for watching.